Hello? Hi, this is Richard. Hey! Hey! What's going on, Richard? <laughs> How's it going? How many guys I got with We got like 27 guys and no cameras, apparently. Because <laughs> we didn't go video, but apparently all the video went away. Yeah. We had video yeah. on the last guest, all of a sudden no video. Hey! So what do you got? What do you got going on, Richard? What are you doing? Uh, I'm a podcast host, a psychologist, and uh, what else? What else? I got... Uh, I'm a dad. I'm all of it. Dad, a, a Zoom Zoom parent in the oh, pandemic. Father of children. Are you a father of children? Yeah, yeah. You believe that? God somebody, damn it. somebody let me parent. You're them. one of us. <laughs> That's who we are. Fathers mm-hmm. of children. <laughs> it was meant to be. Yeah, man. And uh, and hopefully and hopefully uh, an author as well. So hopefully get a book coming out this year. Help everyone deal and and come back to to normalcy. Uh, to feeling good after the kind of year we've been through. Where are you at in the pro- in the book process? Are you is it all written? Just waiting for a pu- find, finding publisher? Got a publisher? Where are you at? Uh, I've got the first round coming through. I've been working with, uh, so I'm working with a you know editor, get a final final work through, make sure that it's practical, that it's simple, that it's tools that people can use. Uh, so hopefully, yeah, find the publisher from there. We'll probably self-publish it. What's the book uh, about? Seems Hold to on be the a way second. To go. Do you need a ghostwriter? Oh, I heard people in the yeah. biz. I know some ghostwriters. Yeah. What the hell's a ghostwriter? Ghost uh, it's, like, it's like a guy with a skull that rides a motorcycle, yeah. right? Yeah. Ghostwriter. Yeah. Oh, ghostwriter. Ghost rider. <laughs> <laughs> writer. Not writer. Ghost writer. Yeah, we don't need a writer. <laughs> yeah. We need a writer. <laughs> so you're. You're, you're, uh, uh, what are you, a, a, a clinical psychologist? He's an authority psychologist? on human behavior. So what do you think of Dr. Drew? <laughs> Asshole or no? <laughs> well, he did his podcast where I started mine. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> and I think it's pretty awesome that he started this whole thing with like a radio show and all these people called in and talked about personal things. He made it kind of accessible. I can't, I can't say how great a, a therapist he may be or. That sounds like really a great idea. Can you tell us some personal things? We'll talk you through it. Yeah. What do you yeah. need? We're going to go full <laughs> Dr. Drew. Yeah. Yeah. Give, us a, give us a start. Yeah. Let, let, us have a, <laughs> let us have a start. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of problems are you yeah. running into? Because yeah. yeah. you have seven solutions have right on the yeah. other end of this phone. Yeah. <laughs> hey, therapists need therapists. Don't kid yourself. That is 100%. true. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's the book about? Tell us about the book. The book is called The Zero Method. It's, it's practical steps for being more authentic, stepping into your real self, slowing down, getting out of the craziness and the stress that starts to happen to people when they start living a little bit too fast. Uh, and, and just being able to check in with yourself, figuring out what you need. Uh, that's something that people aren't really good at often mm-hmm. so um, i think that's called parenting right you know. kind of give up on your personal time and you're uh running around everywhere you know yep. who's good at figuring out what i need I, this guy I, I know exactly what I need. And He's I just pointing to himself. He pointed at himself. Yeah. Just, you know, I, yeah, absolutely. I just do whatever I want to do. Chet and does. If it feels I mean. right. If it feels right, I just go with it. If it feels wrong, you still yeah. do it. Still yeah. <laughs> Chapman yeah. has life figured yeah, out. I mean, he's winning. Right? He is winning at life. I don't know if he's winning. I think he won. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. if you want to. But see, that means it's over. I think That's he's winning because he wins every day. I got a long way to go. I got I to upset a lot more people before it's over. Here's the thing. This is a crazy, crazy day for me. Is it? Because I went to the doctor today too. Oh my God. So we've got a doctor on the phone. I went and got my first physical in 10 years. Oh. So this, how crazy, what a theme of the day this is. Did I'm going to go home and I'm going to read. Did you have to cough? I was going to say, cough, like, right or left, right or left. <laughs> no, I didn't have to cough, but no. you know what he asked me? Visit, physical? visit for Mr. Oh, Happy. No, no, no. <laughs> you know what he asked me? How many fingers can you take? <laughs> <laughs> Just relax. <laughs> He asked me if you needed the uh, the blue pill. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he goes, he goes, sorry, we missed that. Yeah. yeah. Not no the shit. fingers? No. So not the fingers. Not the fingers. <laughs> okay. that, was a good, that was a good point. Uh, tell us about Dr. Zero. Where, where, where did that come from? Dr. Zero, great question. Thank you so much for leaving with that. I spent, I, did, I got a, a nice punishment when I worked for LA County. They sent me overnight to work on Skid Row, which is like where they put you if they're uh they're threatened by you and they they hope you'll quit and in la you know we got a, we got a homeless uh you know a lot of homeless individuals people Tell struggling with that so it actually turned out to be a really great opportunity but they give you like a post-it with two lines on it to write 
like your name and the date of your next appointment for the person. You're supposed to give them this crumbled up post-it. And when they come in, they put it under like a ticket window. And somebody who's sitting there with a microphone says, you know, your, your appointment at 2 p.m., you know, is here. So they call it out, and then you're supposed to come up and, and see this person for, they give you 10 minutes to do therapy in, like, a, a hallway. So uh, people couldn't read. My, you know, my last name is obviously too long in Oldberger, so I would just put Dr. O. So, you know, one day some lady started announcing, you know, Dr. Zero, your patient is here. So it sounded kind of like huh? superhero-esque. I love that. Right, so, I like it. Um, you know, yeah, and I think that was easy for people of, of multiple backgrounds and languages to remember Zero. So it's funny that a lot of my clients, um, you know, I get emails, uh, Dear Zero. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it's been pretty cool. And, um, you know, also cool. can, when we're walking through the stages of, of going through any kind of process, you know, we can go down from four, three, I mean, two, one, zero is like the base. What's the most misunderstood of this phenomenon of everybody living on the streets right now? Um, the most misunderstood, I think, is thinking that it's, you know, a choice. Or it's just a simple matter of deciding you want to not be homeless. It's I mostly think mental um, illness, isn't it, though? There's a lot of it, right? And, and, and drug addiction, mental illness and drug addiction. Life, which are one and the same. In the yeah, which That's leads right. to drug That's addiction, right? right? And if you're using addiction, right, to numb those feelings or right. voices or the depression, you know, it kind of kind of goes hand in hand. Yeah. It becomes really hard to, like, we were talking about, deal with that structure. Somebody telling you, you, you can't be out past 10 p.m. and now you got to go find a job. Like, if, you know, if you really don't have the proper structure and support to go through that transition, it's going to scare you. And, and probably you don't trust a lot of people who told you they would care for you in your life. Um, in fact, the person that I know the longest in Los Angeles is a homeless man. I've known him almost 20 years. And, uh, yeah, he just, he will, he, 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 he keeps on his terms. I mean, that's how he feels safe. Uh, and he'll even, even, you know, he, he gives to charity. He'll tell, tell you a jokey every time he sees you. So there's certainly amazing, you know, homeless individuals who, are, who have so much to contribute. And that's the painful part, right? That they won't accept or can't maintain, um, some of the basic resources that, that you and I come to think of as right. essential. Do you, have you ever brought him over to the house for a dinner? Yeah. Like pretty <laughs> dinner and a movie? <laughs> yeah. You know, you know, this guy, I, I might, this guy would, you know, this guy would, if it wasn't, you know, he's a Red Sox fan, but you know, I'll let that <laughs> slide. But other than that, you know, I would love it. You know, it, it's, it's tricky. It's tricky. You know, it's, we have to learn to separate our work from our personal lives, but um, you know, my kids are certainly, they, they see the tents on the corner. They, they want to give things you know, occasionally and, and, and we want them to feel like they can. You brought up a point about your kids <laughs> seeing the, the homeless people. I, I have this problem with my kids as well. And they're very, um, I have daughters and they're very like giving and they want to, they want to bring stuff. They always like, bring change, whatever they have in their, in their possession at the moment they see them. This just happened last week. And the gentleman was sitting there by himself, just not, you know, not, asking for anything. And I was, we don't want to bug folks. Like you said, they're, they're on their own terms. They're doing their own thing. They're living their own life. So you're kind of caught in that <laughs> moment sometimes, right? Like you, you don't, don't want to, you want to bug are. them. You don't want to bug them either too, or make them feel I'm bad. I'm not even sure what's going on, but yeah. I will tell you this. What, what do you think? What is that? What, you, you what I tell my, you ask, are you asking me? Yeah, no, are you asking me? I'm asking the doctor, you not you. You're Definitely me? not you. Definitely not. You know what I've learned? What oh, I've learned gonna answer in for the all of though. these years of helping out people, all anybody needs is a hug. <laughs> just go. Oh, you just go right on up. You see somebody, Free and hugs. it doesn't matter who it is. And you don't ask. Just, you, nope. Especially and then not you now. Leave without your wallet. Not, you especially not guy. now. You just no. You're hugging everybody. I go around and just mask hug. up. Yeah. No. No mask. Just hug. Just yeah. do it. Hug. Uh-huh. Hug. Wouldn't that? Isn't that what you were going to say, doctor? <laughs> you know what? It's not a bad. It's you know. It's not. It's not far from the truth. I'm thinking just doing a bull rush, just a bull rush hug. What do you think? Like a bear hug. Yeah, yeah just, just running, running right at him. Coming in. Right, here it is. I'm not even going to give you a shot. <laughs> well, here you, comes, here comes the hug. Well, well wouldn't make you sure agree? It's an invited hug, right? Yeah. Right. But yeah. wouldn't you agree? Some people just don't want to be fixed. They don't want that help. They just want to be out there on their own. They don't want to fix her. To your point, like you want to help them. I think that's what Scott, he said was right. a misconception yeah. that people want to be out there. Though. Right. Right, right, right. Some people just don't want to be yeah. fixed. Wouldn't you agree? And that's why I, tell, I got an 11 year old. What do you tell an 11 year old kid? That was a sticky situation. Right. Yeah. I actually witnessed that. And yeah. uh, 
she came out of nowhere and wanted to help this gentleman out, but he was minding his own business. And, not, and that's why I had to kind of tell her, I'm like, I want, I know you want to help, but he might not want help. Right. right? And she, it's hard for her to understand that. So. Right. That's a confusing thing for kids to understand. Thought of something here. I'm Give sorry. It to me. The second, the second thing that I would do, hug is one. <laughs> Two go. is give them a Coca-Cola in a bottle. Yes. You ever remember those Coca-Cola commercials where it was mean Joe Green yeah. and the little girl brought the, the little jersey. She, oh, yeah, yeah, she brought yeah. the thing and he trades the jersey for the yeah. Coke. Thanks. Thanks, kid. Yeah. yeah. See, that's what we need to do. We need to get back to basics. For the polar kids, bear? So really, what I would have said to have your a kids, a smile. bring them a Coke. From, from the doctor point of view, people love kids. Just give them, give the kids something to give to the, the person on the street. Don, and you'll you, get a smile. You you are Dr. Zero, but a different kind of zero. Yeah. Yeah. Coke Zero? Coke Zero. <laughs> Coke zero. <laughs> zero. <laughs> zero calories? We got to wrap you up here, buddy. We got to move on to the next caller. But what is one thought you want or one piece of advice you want to leave us with that you've uh, gained from all your travels? Slow down. Connect to what you're passionate about. Do what you guys are doing. Have some fun. Connect to people who support you and care about you. And I'll let you be... Uh, exactly who you are and uh, we'll tell you if you're out of line and we'll be there for you even when sometimes you're not there for yourself. And give yeah, hugs. And hugs, not drugs, hugs, not drugs, everybody. Hugs, not drugs. Oh my God. Hey. Hey. Hugs and drugs. Just two hugs. <laughs> Much success it. with the podcast. <laughs> Much success with the book. We will definitely be picking up seven copies on me Absolutely. and uh, we'll give it a read. So yeah, bro. All our best, man. I love it. Check me out at richardlistens.com, guys. We will do. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. That, that was great. Good night. All right, brother. All right. Good talk. Good luck, everybody. Good luck. Good Take care. Thank you. Anytime. Dickers listen. Dickers I'm telling you. Listen. Dickers listen. Websites do. I like yeah. listening dicks. Did you, did you really? Oh, my listening God. Listening dicks. I'll tell you right now. I'll grab that goddamn domain in a heartbeat. Yeah.